Hi guys, it's coffee time. Oh, I mean, it's accounting time. So let us continue with our adjusting entry series. Previously, I have uploaded um, part one, which is about prepaid expenses. So I've decided to jump into unearned income and skip part two, which is about depreciation because the concept of prepaid expenses is somewhat similar to unearned income since they are under deferrals. Um, another issue, our format of uh, discussion here is more focused on the, the concept, the analysis of the problem rather than the theories because I wanted to uh, give you a bite size easy to understand accounting. So as I've said, prepaid expenses and unearned income are under deferral. So when we say deferral, we defer the amount into a balance sheet account and later it is moved into an income statement account. So simply stated, when you uh, defer something, say in expenses, it stays here in the asset account, which is a balance sheet account. So we defer under a balance sheet account and later we transfer it to an income, sorry, in an expense account or an income statement account once it is expired. Likewise, when we recognize income, so it stays in a liability account, balance sheet account, until it is earned. So later it's transferred, the earned portion is transferred into an income statement account. Okay. To understand it further, let's discuss, continue discussing Covita for illustrators. Never mind if you don't have the copy of the problem, I'm flashing it in our screen here. So on November 1, 2020, 22,800 was received from our customers for services to be rendered for the month November, December, January, and February. So remember, our year end for Corvita Corona is November 30, 2020. Okay, so what are unearned income? So as the name suggests, this are income that we have received, but technically it's unearned, so not yet earned. Meaning, uh, we haven't delivered goods or services yet to our customers. So the timing is that cash comes in first before the earning process. Okay. So once we recognize unearned income, it can be regarded as a liability or as an income. So we just have to watch out if it's already if it's not yet earned, it must be set up under a liability portion and it will now be transferred to an income uh, statement account. Okay, as a reminder again, we are preparing here adjusting entries where every adjusting entry includes one balance sheet account and one income statement account. So unearned income. We paid, the customer paid us 22,800. That is good for four months. 100 here applies for four months. But remember, November 30 is our year end. So, how do we record this? Prepaid expenses has two methods. Unearned income has also two methods of recording unearned income. One is liability method. And another one is the income method. So under liability method, the whole thing is recorded under an, a liability account. Unearned service income is a liability account. And under income method, the whole thing is recorded under service income. So the whole 22,000 is recorded as a liability once we receive the 22,800. And if we opted income method, 
22,800 are all recorded as service income regardless if it's not yet earned. So initially, we recognize the whole thing as service income. At the end of the year, so again, we have to reminder, reminder, we have to take out if we record it as a liability, we already earned a portion of that. So you have to transfer it into an income statement account. Likewise, if we opted for an income method, some of these are not yet earned. Therefore, it's a liability. We owe it from our customers because we haven't rendered or delivered the goods or services yet. Okay. So 5,700 here is earned and one, two, three, three months not yet earned. So 5,700 earned, 17,100 the earned, the unearned portion. So we can recognize 5,700 as income, 17,100 as a liability. We owe, it, we owe it from our customers. So to recognize adjusting entries, so under liability method, we set up the income portion, remember the 5,700 uh, and under income method, we have to take out the unearned portion. So we have to set up the liability. Okay, so we earned 5,700. We take out this from the liability portion and we can set this up under service income. So at year end, we can now recognize 5,700 service income. So likewise, in our income method, out of this 22,800, uh, our remaining liability is only 17,100. So therefore, we have to set up 17,100 as our liability at the end of the period. Unearned service income is a liability account. So at the end of the year, using liability method, we have 17,100 under unearned service income. Under income method, service income net is 5,700. Unearned service income, 17,100. Again, that's the effect of adjusting entries where, whether you choose the liability method or the income method, after recording these adjustments, the yellow portion, you will still have the same balances. So 17,100 here under liability method and 17,100 here also under income method. Likewise, service income to be recognized at the end of the year, 5,700 under income method and 5,700 also under the liability method. So to wrap this up again, our adjusting entry under liability method is we debit, we debit unearned service income 5,700. We are recording for the, unex, the earned portion rather. So under liab method, we recognize the earned portion. Under income method, so debit service income, credit, and earned service income. So we set up the unearned portion. Income method, the adjustment is the unearned portion. So thank you for watching and hopefully uh, we will see each other soon in our succeeding accounting tutorials, math and engineering. Please do subscribe to Help us inspire to do more videos. Thank you very much.